Hello, it's Rowan here from Synthstrom Audible, showing you today the new QWERTY feature for our upcoming uh, version 3.0 firmware out later this year. Songs and presets can now have text-based names. If we create just the simplest song, one big long note, and we go to save this, the QWERTY keyboard is illuminated here, complete with shift buttons, space key, and backspace and enter keys. I'm going to call this song Deluge Song. And that's saved there. And if I now go load song, I can bring up the QWERTY keyboard again, and as soon as I press D, that file is found, because it's the only one on the SD card beginning with a D. It's predicted it just like a web URL. I can scroll along if I wish, and load it by pressing the Enter key. The same works for synth presets. If I modify this preset slightly, and I want to save it as a new preset, I can just go Save Synth give it a new name, maybe we'll call it Rowan Synth. If I, if I make a mistake, I can backspace, just like this. I can also move backwards and forwards and type over what I've already done, but we'll just call it Rowan Synth. And press Enter to save that. The exact same works for kit presets as well. Now suppose I want to load back up a preset saved with a text-based name. Let's just go to a brand new song to illustrate this. So we're back to synth zero, but we want to load back up that one that I just saved. There is now a new mode for loading an instrument. We can go load synth, load kit would do the same thing, and I can just start typing, and there again is the name of the synth I just saved. So we can load that up again. QWERTY mode is also usable in the file browser, so if we go and create a new kit, we're going to load up a file, want to load up a drum file, I can just uh, start typing drums, go into the drums folder, uh, let's say we want a snare, and let's get the CR78 snare, and we've loaded that just like that by typing a few keys. Now because that file was called CR78.wav, that sound within the kit has been named CR78 by default, but it is a snare drum and maybe I'd like to name it snare. So with the new name shortcut there, while this drum is selected here, we can go in there and just rename it as we please. And now that sound is called snare.